Philip Goss, we were in the same gallery together. Oh, oh yeah, if I should mention that. Uh, Philip Gustin, uh, what's her name, uh, what's it, Louise Bourgeois, is that her name? She was in the gallery as well. I'm very sad to say that I never met Philip Gustin, though I really love those last paintings of his. I just love them. And I love uh, the work of Louise Bourgeois, but I never, I never met either of them. But, but w w w when you first started, I mean, you, you knew Philip Gustin's work as an abstract expressionist. Yeah. And then when all of a sudden he started painting shoes, what mm. was your reaction? Oh, <laughs> I loved it. I just loved it. Uh, I thought I thought it was one of the best moves he ever made. Um, they were the, the the expression was so real, so fundamental, so. Um, so deeply felt, it was just so natural, so elemental. And, and yet, when you look at the way they're painted, I used to love to go up to the surface of these paintings and to see how the paint was applied. I love the way he put the paint on. Uh, I, love the, I love all those images. I think that it, these paintings are by far his best work for me. And I think they have a very significant place in the history of uh, both abstract expressionism and art as well. I remember de Kooning saying something about them very, that very nice, similar to what I'm saying, although I'm not imitating his words, but with kind of sim similar, you know, you, something about you, the, the freedom of your expression and the, and the, uh, the basic, uh, it's very basic uh, way of thinking and very simple and clear and so forth. By the way, talking about de Kooning, I have to make one quote. <laughs> one of the best quotes about art that I've ever heard comes from <clears throat> de Kooning, where he said, the only definite thing I can say about art is that it's a word. <laughs> I fully agree. 